I'm Rob from Smart Boat Innovations. Thank you for joining me on this journey to transform your boat into a smart boat. Whether your boat is old or new, my goal with this channel is to help you into turning into an incredible smart vessel. The best part is you don't need to be a tech whiz to achieve this. I've designed the content specifically for those with no technical background so everyone can benefit from it. In today's video, we'll set up a low power sensor network for your boat using a Zigbee USB coordinator or dongle. This will allow you to easily add various battery powered sensors such as bilge water monitors or uh, fire and smoke sensors or uh, sirens to alert you, also temperature, humidity sensors and many more. So what is Zigbee? Zigbee is a low power wireless communication protocol specifically designed for smart homes. Zigbee provides a network with extremely low power consumption, ensuring that Zigbee sensors enjoy extended battery life. Typically, batteries in Zigbee devices last one to two years. Now you may wonder, why do you need Zigbee if you already have Wi-Fi? Well, Zigbee devices are optimized for low power consumption, making them perfect for battery operated devices. In contrast, Wi-Fi tends to consume more power, which can lead to shorter battery life for connected devices. Additionally, installing battery-powered Zigbee devices is quick and simple. For example, you can install four of these water sensors in your build in less than an hour. Attempting the same with cable-powered devices would take days, considering the challenge of routing cables and connecting them to the boat's DC power. And at the end of the day, you'll probably delay it until another day. Another advantage of Zigbee is its cost-effectiveness. If you search the internet, you'll find numerous low-cost Zigbee devices available. By incorporating Zigbee into your boat setup, you'll have a reliable, low-power sensor network that enhances safety and monitoring, while offering convenience and easy installation. By the end of the video, we will cover the following steps. Connect the Zigbee dongle to the Raspberry Pi. Explain the different types of Zigbee dongles available. And finally, we'll connect the Zigbee dongle to Home Assistant. So let's get started. The dongle I use is the Sonoff dongle. It's the, the dongle P. Um, there's a couple of dongles you can choose from. I actually looked at, looked at these three. There's a dongle P from Sonoff. Or the dongle e which is the new one from sonoff or the sky connect actually made by home assistant all three are quite good i chose the dongle p because it's been around a little bit longer and and its price and availability was better than the sky connect one from home assistant so let's open up the box and here you have actually the, the dongle and it comes with an antenna I quite like the fact it has an antenna it gives the impression that's going to have better wireless range so the antenna just simply screws into the end and has a little hinge so you can just hinge it up. Now we have the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi has four USB ports. Now Zigbee doesn't use much data and it's not very fast so we can just use one of the standard USB ports to plug it in. And there we go. Now, it's not usually recommended to plug it straight in because there are possibilities of data interference with the dongle being close to the computer. So the recommended method is to use a USB extension cable like this. So you plug into the extension cable and then you plug the extension cable into the Raspberry Pi. I, I've, I must admit, I have both. I have them plugged straight in and, uh, and the cable and they both seem to work fine for me. My dongle has arrived with up-to-date firmware and if you buy one it probably will as well but if you need to update the firmware you just need to um, disassemble the dongle there are two screws at the end here we, that we unscrew and then the, the inner part will just slide out Okay, and then hold the circuit board by the sides and on this side there are two buttons a reset button and the boot button and it's a boot button you need to keep pressed 
while you're powered on and connect to a, a PC. I'm not going to go through that because I don't think you, you're going to need to, to uh, update the firmware on these. But I thought I'd just show it so you know what the inside looks like and if you have to do a wonder, you're well prepared. So we just have to put the two screws back in. Connect the antenna. And now we're ready to um, and configure it in Home Assistant. So here in Home Assistant on the left, we go down to Settings, then to Devices and Services, and Integrations. You can see that the, the Zigbee uh, dongle has been discovered, so click on Configure and then Submit. This stage might take a, a little while. And here you just choose the option where it says uh, create a new network. You might have slightly different options than, than I have because I've this is probably the second or third time I've created a network. This, this part might take a take a short time. And here you go, success. Oh, I always like when it says success. Uh, it's asking us to put us in the area, but we just don't need to. So just click on finish. And here we have we have the the Zigbee dongle has been integrated into Home Assistant. And we quickly have a look what it has. It has some information about the stick we have. Of course, there's no automations or scripts yet. And now we're ready to add Zigbee sensors or devices, for example, a water leak detector. Thank you for joining me today and exploring the incredible world of smart boating. If you found this video helpful and informative, I would appreciate if you hit the like button below. And if you'd like to stay updated with more exciting content on boating and technology, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Your support means a lot and helps me create more valuable videos like this. Until next time, hasta luego!